our first speaker. I mean, evaluator. So we help each other out. Wow! What a week! Scott had the opportunity to teach two workshops for the Central Florida Jobs Institute at in that initiative. Excellent. One on using social media in a job search and how to organize your job search. In the spirit of giving back, Scott will help Joe evolve as speaker through his evaluation of Joe's speak. Welcome to the podium. Thank you. So your third speech. Very nice. Congratulations. You're moving through the book quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we only know you're moving through the book quickly because you tell us that. <laughs> Not because we actually have seen the book. <laughs> remember, the first thing to bring as a speaker is your book. So please remember your CC manual for future speeches so we can fill something out instead of giving you the back of an introduction where we took some notes. <laughs> that makes it a little less possible for us to develop you as much as we want to. In your speech this morning, you introduced us to the 80s. And then you went from introducing us to the 80s to say, I will get to the health care reform act. At least that's what I heard in the introduction. And I'm still waiting for where you're going to get to the health care reform act. So as you... That was a joke. That was a joke. As you're working to get through your speech, if your introduction doesn't tie to your speech, you may confuse the audience. And as an evaluator, I was certainly confused because I kept waiting. The next part's going to be about the Health Care Reform Act, or maybe the next part. So remember, your, your intro should tie into what you're actually going to speak about. Very important for that. But in the parts we spoke about, you did a really good job of being able to work us through why the 80s meant so much to you. You reminisced on a number of important topics that all of us could identify with. We all remember where we were when the miracle on ice happened. I had just come home from the hospital from being sick, and I can remember sitting there, almost dying with every goal, and then realizing we still had one more game to play. And you brought that back by referring to memories such as that that were so impactful to so many people, you really drew us into what that speech was all about. As you gave your speech, it was obvious you had no notes which is wonderful in your third speech already to be able to evolve to a place where you have no notes to refer to. But relax when you stand here. You started out holding the podium, afraid it was going to fly away. <laughs> <laughs> then you did the all-state moment. <laughs> and then you just stood here like the Hulk. <laughs> arms, arms bent, fists clenched, ready at any moment for a defenseman from the Russian hockey team to come bursting through those doors <laughs> and try to get back to the U.S. repeat. Every speech you give, you grow. And I'm looking forward to future speeches. Just remember that as you set up your speech, make sure that you take us to a place where you're actually going to go so that everyone listening is on the same pages as what you were. Thank you very much, Jeff.